Hello and welcome back to the Nords. It is time for us to declare a war upon Rothgar. I believe we have no truce. Um, we should still have a claim. We have enough prestige. We have enough money. And they're in a civil war. This is perfect. Oh, actually, before we do this, let me just check one thing. This is fine. The people they're in a war with have 5,000 troops. But I was thinking, if they only have 500 troops, I don't really need to raise that many people to go and fight. No, I definitely do need to raise, like, a reasonable amount because the Civil War will also be hostile to us. But anyway, Hitler War. Pitigan has claims? What's your claim? Uh, on a random barony? No. King uh, Bugrash's claim. Let's go. And then, we're going to move both of these over here. Actually, we're probably just going to... Well, yeah, we'll move both of these over here. That's fine. Put one there. Put one there. Uh, what actually is Rothgar? It's there. So we probably want to siege this one immediately get further in. So that they don't get um, taking war score from holding the actual thing that we declared the war for. Uh, let's raise our men-at-arms here. And our troops here. Let's go. That should be enough. And then our men-at-arms. Let's go. We have a son who has come of age. Okay. He's attuned and beautiful. Uh, he's going to marry this other attuned person, a black briar. Which I think one of his uh, siblings is married, but that's okay. That means that we can get attuned upgraded. Chance of beautiful being passed down. Some good stuff. Let's go. Right. You're going to uh, go over here, and then we're just going to start sieging. I've dedicated my life to uh, writing commentaries on ancient Syro-Nordic lore. Perhaps the ruins found in solitude could advance my own studies. I'm willing to part with a palpable son of Drake's in return for your cooperation. 300 gold, or we gain some prestige. I'll have no outlanders meddling with the ruins of my ancestors. Exactly. That's the thing to say. Uh, new stewardship perk, um, war profiteer, extra 10% while we're at war, which goes on after uh, all of these ones, same as wealth focus, so making even more money there. It's going to be a long first siege, but I think it's worth it to get further in, because we need to get, have this one to be able to get into Greystone, and Greystone, I think, is the first one that we can get to, yeah, which first Rothgar one that we can get to, so it's going to be worth it to do this siege. Even though, it, you know, we, we don't have enough to actually do the siege. Right. Push our way in. We'll get the next one. Uh, we do want to leave a few troops behind. So let's go like this. Uh, just looking at the supply amounts here. They're all very low. Um, so let's split that up. Split that up. Split that up. And then split that up. There we go. So, grab them all. 5,000 are obviously going to have to stay. I'm going to send one back there. Uh, wait. Which which one's the army that's got the siege units in it? No. One back here. Uh, one back here. I'm, at, I'm not actually doing the right thing, I just realized. Okay, one there. One there. One there. And then you, you stay. There we go. Let's see how that looks. I hope I did it right. Yeah, it's fine. That leaves us with two locations where we could have some uh, troops reinforcing. So let's do another army split. Grab them all. Um, we're going to deselect you. Gonna deselect you. And then these two are going to go off uh, places. There we go. Right, that's better. Children of my dynasty. So, Sidigir has had two children. Offel. Hey, you got the upgraded acute one. Fantastic. You also got uh, the you also got the upgraded one. Nice. Although one's comely and one's um, uh, handsome, but they're still good. Fantastic. Scandalous priest will condemn her. Yes. Uh, because the other ones, I think, involve you having to give up something, and I don't really want to do that. I moved two to the same province. Well, that's not good. Wait, did I do that right? Uh, do I have two in this province? Yes, yes, I do. Right, so move back. 
That's fine. So we should now be regaining apart from this army at the very, very front. That's okay. Uh, totem, totem, totemism has appeared here. Uh, okay. Well, we'll just say like, mm, don't like that. They're all resupplying. Wonderful. Solaf's missing hides. Solaf, solve your own problem. Right. Oh, I just realized we finished the siege. <laughs> Uh, let's move the let's merge these two together for a second. Move them forward. Right, and then we're going to leave enough to siege. Move these two thousand back uh, just to there. Is the game crashed? No. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking what we can do though is we can move that army in there, split this one in half, and then send one there and see how that goes. Right. So now I should be able to merge them up. And we have supply. Good. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. A scheme at court. Somebody's trying to fabricate a hook. Oh no. Aha. We won that siege. It's taking away any ticking war score they would have had. And now we have pure war score from our occupied holdings. Wonderful. You've studied our, our language. Wonderful. Be my friend. That's fine. Um... There's still that war going on up there. I guess we want to just keep pushing to Rothgar. Yeah. Because that's probably going to be... Well, that's their capital, so it's worth an extra 10%. So it's going to be the one that we want. We could also head up here to Argent or something and try and siege in the middle. And the logic for sieging in the middle is then that means that when... Instead of having all of our troops in a line, we can have them, like, uh, all kind of bunched up and gaining supply. Although I guess there's a mountain here, so we're kind of screwed either way. Yeah, move forward. And I'm just going to move every army forward. Hey, these ones have higher supply limit. We could actually uh, have our army a little bit more bunched up up here, potentially. Um, yep, then you're going to head to that one. Go. See how that looks. Uh, yeah, you should be gaining supply. That's good. Organized service, we get more holding taxes in one of our uh, holdings. Oh, that was Lend of Solitude. That's good. Are you going to attack us? No, you're going to head around to try and attack that army or that army. That's what you're doing. Either way, is not a problem for us. Yeah, it was that army at the top, judging by what the AI has done there. Okay, so. Uh, do we want to keep pushing in? I don't, I don't really see a reason not to, so like push into this one. Wait, is the shrine what we need to siege? Yes, okay. So you're going to head there. One goes in there. One goes in there. One goes in here. And then we just keep moving them around. That one in there. That one in there. Go. Right. So we kind of swarm to the next province and siege it. Okay. This has gone much better. This is what I wanted to do against... Um, Against the Heartlands. The problem with doing it... Oh, they've now become Nibbane. Well, I guess our chance to declare war against Coral has kind of disappeared. Or like the easy war. Given how much they have. Wow. And then the Heartlands have also got a claim on Coral that they're pressing. Things are going crazy down there. But yeah, in a war against the Heartlands, this was kind of what I was trying to do. The problem is, because they had a much larger army. And we needed larger armies to like stay back and uh, resupply. It just didn't end up working. I think against them, we might need to go back to old strats. And old strats are basically you just, um, like, blitz them. You get things that can siege quickly. You blitz directly to their capital. And you, uh, you know, see what you can do after that. Right, head up to that one. Everybody else is going to move a little bit forward. You're going to head here. 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 And here. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, that one's already taken. Here. There we go. Right, we captured somebody in the siege. Uh, what are we going to do with Rondach? Uh, demand conversion recruit. Yeah, that seems right. Do it. Right. And then continue forward. Okay. Uh, Mountain Orc Nordic Pantheon populace have disappeared from our lands. You are, are you going to attack us? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're okay. 
My spy master has come to me with, great, uh, with grave news. My vassal Alderman Thryn is plotting against my courtier. He in some dread. Um, Aldarch, Larry Antel's friendship. Do I want to be friends with this guy? Uh, sure. Follower of Cirabane. Huh. Interesting. Um, don't know if we've seen that one. Yeah, let's let's be friends with him. Yeah, they're retreating back to Rothgar to DC, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Oh no, it's been sieged by High Kinlord um, Aldaral, who is actually in this land. So you declared against these guys as well in the Holy War. Oh, interesting. All right, Full Thelm has now been born. That's cool. Right, continue our sieges. We've inherited the chieftain of Chisel Shriek. Okay, uh, what is the chieftain of Tri Chisel Shriek? Is that one that we just picked up? Ah, uh, Lake of Teeth. Yeah, we'll, we'll just grant that away. We have so much money now, by the way. It's crazy. Uh, vassal contract, that's fine. Just check that you are actually paying us stuff. Right. Back over here. I would love to attack and, and take that siege from them. So, this is where we merge all of our troops into this one. And then we just attack. And they're also trapped here. That's the best part. Right. So, merge them in. We'll just do that. We actually have supply now. Renewal of patronage. Hey, we got the 300 one I was looking for in a previous war. That is... Not organizer, is it? Um, It must be organizer that gives you the 300 supply. That doesn't seem right, though. Uh, do you have another trait? Is that what's going on here? No. Okay. Maybe it, uh, it might be Plunderer, maybe? No, probably not. Hmm. I don't know what trait it is. I know there is a trait that does it. I just don't know what it is. Anyway. Uh, renewal of Patronage. After five year years, the funds I set aside for the patronage of my gardener, Solaf, have run out. Um, his services are no longer required. I'm not going to pay him another 300 gold. You want to give me 105 gold? Thank you very much. Really do appreciate that one. That's more than anyone else gives us. Don't crash, don't crash. <laughs> it's doing an auto save, so that's why I think it took so long there. Yeah, we changed the commander. This guy only has um, up to 98. So I put this one in. It is 300. So something that what this guy has is increasing his um, max supply. It must be organizer, right? Yeah, it must be organizer looking at these. Huh. Anyway, doesn't matter. Like, at all. We're just going to attack in. Fearful troops. Uh, we have high natural dread, right? Yeah. So because we have 25 natural dread, that means that we get 12.5% off of our men at arms. Like, just as a base. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll, t I'll, I'll pay uh, less for them. Hey, we just won that battle. Level of fame went up. We're now known as the Pawn. That doesn't seem like a great nickname. Our sister died. Okay. Uh, she was previously in charge of Falconstar, which has now gone to her son. Okay. She was slain in this battle, in fact. Okay. Demand payment. Ah, from her son. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, All of that seems fine. Right. We have won the siege. Or we have won the battle. Now we have to win the siege. Eight months left. Okay. We could assault the fort, in theory. No reason not to, particularly. Hey, our rival died. Um, High King Odolf, my even-tempered husband, is now held against his will by uh, clan head Ragnar of Hjalval. Okay. Um, that's not great. Well, I would ransom him if we were able to. I no longer have an alliance as he's no longer a ruler. Can I ransom him back then? Um, his jailer, can I pay a ransom? No, okay. One reason why we might be happy about this, by the way, our husband losing land, is that when he's released, he can join our available spouse thing and give us stats, but anyway. A superstitious mind. Last time I saw um, Old Arch Lariantel, he was surreptitiously getting rid of my yellow hat because yellow is an Unlucky colour for people of my birth. The time before, I had to accompany him on a ridiculously long detour to avoid a sleeping black cat. It's unlucky, he said. I don't even want to remember the time he thought he had lost his lucky amulet. 
However, as I catch him throwing away half of my precious salt just because it had been spilled, I feel my patience wearing thin. Uh, we're just going to say nonsense at him and see how that goes. Right. Uh, we're going to finish this siege before they finish their siege. That's fine. Rings of Rivalry. Uh, or the Ring of Rivalry. While pursuing some enchanting tomes, I find an interesting little enchantment. It involves producing an illusory yet irritating sound heard only by the wearer of the artifact deafening them. Immediately, that bed swerver Danica comes to mind. Producing a little ring bearing that particular enchantment would be somewhat expensive, but how I would revel in her misery. Do it. I'm going to make her miserable. Hey, we captured that. Um, we actually have it all through war score from occupied holdings. So, I can see what we can do about this prisoner first. Um, demand conversion, renounce claims, be recruited. Let's wait for that to go through. Nice. And then, enforce demands. Wonderful. Disband that. Uh, Bug Rash is now like, you are amazing. He's, he's, also, he's called the Pawn of North Point, and we're just the Pawn. He now holds a significant amount of land. I think we invalidated their war for some reason. Uh, I don't know why it invalidated. Um, we are a different religion. Maybe they, they just, they're not allowed to declare holy wars against our religion, so invalidated. Or maybe all holy wars invalidate if the leader changes. I don't think that's the way it's meant to work. But it might be because the religion changed. Anyway, doesn't matter. Their holy war was invalidated is the most important part. So that's fine. And we should now have one of our things, right? Yes. Completely control the region of Faroon, which is this region up here. Actually, we didn't need to control nearly half that land, but now we do. That's good. Right. Uh, we can clear that out. Uh, raise a runestone. That'll be a conquest runestone for control growth. Don't know if we need that one. Uh, we can hold court. Yeah, we could maybe do that. Uh, demand payment. Yeah, I'll get 50 gold. Thank you very much for that. Oh, and now I have money. Uh, we can do our upgrades that I wanted to do. So, like, uh, upgrade a castle in there. In Grom's Pass. Let's check all the other, uh, passes here. So, you already have two castles. But what I can do with the castles is I can upgrade the forts in them. There we go. Yeah, just do a little fort upgrading. Uh, in this one, I can also do some fort upgrading if any is available, but none is. And then here, I could do some fort upgrading if it was available, but... Oh, no, there it is. Yep, we can do a little fort upgrade here as well. Wonderful. Uh, so now we have all of those upgrading. Uh, although, of course, now we have this bit of land, like, you know, obviously it's a little bit weird, because this is outside of the uh, mountain range, but still, good. That's a lot of... Uh, extra land that we've got actually over there and our name is getting much much bigger at the top one interesting thing is it's still actually difficult to like i'm looking at some of these guys and think it's still difficult to declare a war against them it's less difficult to declare against the heartlands now though actually i looked at just looking at their military strength how strong is their ally Two thousand troops huh okay well you know what i might do i might just declare a war for my claim on the kingdom of bruma yeah I was saying how difficult it was to declare a war, and then I'm looking at it like, actually, this would be pretty easy. <laughs> they got 5,000 troops. Um, this is our perfect opportunity. We can just push our way directly in here and take, like, a huge amount of land off of them. All right, how do we want to do this? Raise our troops in a pile and just go for the war? I guess so. We need to take Bruma up, but Bruma's any of this. If we go down this route, so we go through Geral into Sador, kind of along this this way. Let's see what the uh, fort levels are like here. It says one, so that'd be easy to get into the first bit. That's got a fort level of ten. Okay, so that's not going to be a great one. Yeah. Okay, so we'd have to go. Yeah, so we can't get through there easily. Okay. Uh, this side. Well, I mean, we can take Apple Watch, no issue. Uh, then we can head down to here. Then that's got seven. Wow, they have really high... They have some really high um, fort levels here. We could go around the edge. So, like, get in here and start circling. 
That might be our plan, yeah. Let's do that. Um, so, raise our troops. We'll then raise our men at arms separately. Uh, I think we'll go for like 15,000 and see how that goes. Okay. Well, about 20,000, but whatever. Uh, and then we're going to head to uh, Apple Watch. Let's go. Another save. The saves are taking longer. It is worrying me slightly, but that's okay. As long as it succeeds at the saves, we're not that worried about it. Uh, demand payment? Yeah, I'll get five gold from you. That's fine. Wonderful. Right. Uh, we could leave enough to siege. And then just head you to the next uh, holding. Yeah, so we'll move the 19,000 over here for just now. You will finish the siege, no issue. Child of my dynasty has been born. They are cute. So that is uh, Unmid and Anja's child. Hey, so that upgraded again. Wonderful. We're getting a lot more magic into our... That's horrible. Well, this army's dead. We're getting a lot more magic into our family. Warring vassals. Uh, my vassals can war. I don't care. Right. Um, I would love to attack here if we can. We are going to catch them. Let's go. Now I'm going to move the 300 in just to join in. Cool. We won that. They're throwing more and more men into the grinder, which is great. There's going to be a ton of war score. Ragnar. Um, till Ragnar do us part. Okay. Well, um, High King Ofdel was killed by Clan Head Ragnar, which is not great, but it does mean that we can remarry. We can remarry for some of all skills. Uh, we're not going to have any more children. So yeah, we can just find somebody who has the skill we're looking for. Like this person. This guy looks good. Those are reasonable stats. Let's marry. Right. Uh, they accepted marriage, the marriage proposal. He's now here and he's now giving us all of these stats. We get up to 10 extra domain actually from that as well. Which would be cool. Uh, that was only worth... 17% war score. I mean, that's okay. There's a max of 50% war score from battle, so that's fine. I'm going to take the 500 gold. Uh, do we want a feast? Sure, let's have a feast. A cheery gathering. Right, uh, none of those we need to worry about. You need a guardian, actually. That one we do want to worry about slightly. Doing a learning education. That can be you who gives her the learning education. Right. Troubled Vassal. The pleading gaze I received from my vassal is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching the corner he hid, has hidden all evening. The walls are hindering his escape. Alright, we'll get a weak hook on him. And, because we have a weak hook on him, we can then ask him for 31 gold. Wonderful. Push your way forward. As plate after plate of food is brought into the Great Hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me and I smile. That my abstruse vassal, clan head, Valdir, is sensitive to almond, there's something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome. I pray you find the food to your liking. Um, I can save him from the food. His face as I save him from the food is definitely to my liking. Let's do that. And now that we've saved him, we can then demand payment from him. Nice. <laughs> A little bit of income coming in that way. Okay, uh, we do at some point need to, um, like... Find somewhere to resupply our army, but let's just do a couple of sieges first, get some land, and see where things take us. I want to head down to this one. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, this is all okay. We captured prisoners in the siege. We can deal with those prisoners. My god, you're chunky. As in, like, he is a bulky elf. What was made him so bulky? He's uh, strong. Okay, that'll do it. Yeah. Praxic one follows the philosophy of the path to act um to Alexon. Okay. Or Alaxon. Um I guess it must just be all through his uh, strength one here. Interesting. Anyway, he is very bulky. Um you wanna join my court? Like you can join my court if you just like oh yeah, like just join. That works. Yeah, just recruit him. How about you? Thromgar uh, of Iceheart. Oh, you I should actually get 50 gold for you. Never mind. I'll get 50 gold for you. That works. 
Let's walk straight through under Pal. 33 days left. We'll take this and then we'll go beat these guys up who are heading into our territory. Let's do that. They have a lot more troops than I was expecting. You want to wander through my territory? That's fine. We'll raise some extra troops on the way past. Let's wait a second or two. That's fine. Merge. And I will beat him up in the pass, which seems uh, very good for us. They're going to get destroyed. Raelia comes of age. Okay, she's an insightful thinker. We'll then marry her off. She currently has the acute one. We can marry her off to somebody who also has the uh, acute one. I don't know if that's what we want to do, though. We want to marry her off to somebody who's unlanded, really. Etheric. We can go for the next one. Unmid twice stabbed can marry her. Sure, let's do that. Matrilineal marriage. Keep pushing ourselves through here, and that is a dead army. Pretty much. Okay, 32% there. We lost some allied combatants, but that's okay. Sanguine bonding. Um, our High Queen is truly generous. Just taste this spectacular veal cutlets. Uh, let's lower our stress a little bit. We became obese. Okay, let's um, lose weight. There we go. How's our health looking? Health is fine. See, this is one of the situations where I'd be like, okay, now, now we should definitely go and have a look in here and give ourselves resilience. Cool. Which will probably mean our health stays at fine, but whatever. Uh, this is fine. Siege this. I want to take Underpal. I think Underpal is going to be good for us. Hey, can we beat up that army? Yeah, get there in time. Or don't, I guess. Secret exposed. Somebody's father was not who people thought it was. We're not going to catch them. How about we just go straight here? And then we'll catch them. Right. Head back to Underpal. With an extra 15% we can get from that. Okay. Nine months left. We will leave Siegers. We'll move the 27 down to this town to just siege the town. 50 gold. Wonderful. Thank you for the 50 gold. Okay. What's our health like, by the way? Just as it's recalculated, it's still exactly the same as where it was previously. Cool. We're no longer obese, which actually means our health will be better. It's not. It's exactly the same as it was. Um, I'm going to... I want to see the size of the army that was up here. 12,000. Okay, we're going to finish the siege and send a 24 round to beat them up. Uh, people have different children and who we suspected they were going to have. Or people have... Uh, people's parents are different than who we suspected. That's the better way of putting that. Because that's actually what I meant to say. Beat them up. Oh, yeah, uh, or we could head to Apple Watch actually here as well. Uh, that's fine. Let's grab ourselves. Tax woman? I don't even know if you're doing that right now. You're collecting taxes. Okay. Still making money. Siege this down. 51 days left. Okay. Seemed like a good thing to do. Captured some people. They're probably worth money. 50 gold and... We finished that siege. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Head back this way. So that siege is probably worth more money. Uh, not money. More war score. Uh, we'll get there in a second. No, that was worth exactly the same amount of war score as everything else. Oh, interesting. I thought it would be worth more. But it was not. I think it's based on development. Is that right? I think it is based on development, how much war score it gives you. And they all have basically the same development. I might be 100% off with that one. But um, I think it's based on that. Right, attack. Uh, make sure we have good leaders. Go. We've defeated one army. And now they're just throwing them into the meat grinder. And we'll continue destroying them. Wonderful. Catch the next army. Defeated it. We are now capped on battle war score. Now is our time to spread out behind us. So let's start spreading out our armies. We'll use this as an opportunity to basically just reinforce the whole lot of them. So, um, here. Let's 
checking that these are all individual ones and there's not like multiple places we can drop them per holding. As if there are, we want to do that rather than spread them out across multiple provinces. There. Go. We can now resupply here. Should be good. Are you still taking attrition? No. Okay, that's fine. A little bit of resupplying. We're not going to fully resupply because some of them are going to get too big. That's alright. Uh, if we see them getting too big, we should split them up in theory and move some back. Or split them up and move them forward if we can do it here. That's horrible. <laughs> Everybody, if you can, merge here. No, merge here. This army is going to die. Okay. Yep, merge up. That's fine. Uh, we should still be at 50% here. Yeah, we're still capped out. That was only a 1% battle. The attack. They're retreating. We want to retreat into that one with them. Thinks they're going to win. I disagree, but I am a little worried. Thinks it's a... We will probably lose. Uh... Huh. Oh, you have advantage in hills. I see. That's why I thought. So, supply is running low. Defending in hills. Defensive building. Higher quality. More commander traits. More soldiers. I'm a little worried that they're not moving. Because generally, if they move, that means that the AI thinks they're going to lose. Okay, stay where you are. <laughs> can we raise some more troops? Can we, we can't raise in this territory, can we? No, okay. But we could raise some more troops here. And just get them ready. Yeah, that's probably enough. Okay. Uh, armies? Uh, actually, let's split off a small army here. And get the battering rams off of this one. Only have one set of battering rams left. I guess that one of them must have died. Alright, let's grab that 3,000 army. That one's going to head down there. The 24,000 is going to head in here. We'll see how that goes. Uh, arrival is dead. Okay. The one that we gave the thing that made her deaf to. Okay. Right. New person in our court giving us more prestige. Uh, we have one of these to take. Uh, let's take this one. Children can receive a student of magica trait if their guardian has positive um, arcana affinity or student of magica trait. Let's do that. Keep pushing ourselves down this one as much as we can. Just to see what we can do. We have a dangerous faction against us apparently. Ah, not based on military power dangerous. Just like it will fire no matter what. Okay. Secret exposed. About a fornicator. We defeated that army and we've sieged this thing down. <laughs> this is still a difficult war. Even uh, I remembered what I was going to look up. Yeah, they got more troops somehow. I guess their other war ended and they just bought them up. But uh, yeah, they bought mercenaries and holy orders. I see. Uh, that was what I was going to look up ages ago. I'd completely forgotten it. So I was like, how are they fighting? But yeah, it's still a difficult war. They have so many less troops than us. But because we have to keep, you know, resupplying... Um, it's just slowing us down as we get through all of this land. Yeah. Okay. Right, you're going to head to Snowfall. And I think, given the length of this war, we're actually going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.